Better watch your fucking back, bitch. Now out on Netflix, the lost daughter follows a college professor named Lita who, while on holiday, meets a young mother. Their interaction and Lita's obsession forces her to relive her own past, her mistakes and triumphs as a mother. With Olivia Colman in the lead and Jesse Buckley playing a young Lita, we learn Lita's story through simultaneous flashbacks. The effect is that the film comes together all at once, a synergistic and epiphanic viewing experience. We were enraptured by the film, giving it five stars and naming it one of the best movies of 2021. However, for some, the non-linear storytelling might be hard to follow. Cunt. <laughs> Warning, the Lost Daughter spoilers follow. What happens at the end of the movie? Nina pays a visit to Lita's room after she's close to breaking down from the stress of handling her daughter. As Lita calms her down she also ends up telling her that she has had the doll all along. You found her? When Nina finds out she's furious and yells at her asking why she did it when she knew the trouble the doll was causing. She storms off with the doll, but not before stabbing her with the hat pin that Lita had given her. Lita who's leaving that night walks to the beach where we see the opening scene reenacted. The unconscious Lita wakes up in the morning and recalls a happy memory with her daughters who give her a call. As she sits and chats with them on the phone, we see her smile with a bloodstain on her shirt with the movie ending on that note. What happens at the end of the book? Cut your tiny little dicks off and feed them to you like peanuts! The movie is mostly faithful to the book, except for the ending. In the book after Lita is saddened by Nina's anger and wounded she heads home, but while she is moving out she gets a call from her daughters, who asks how she's doing. Lita's response is the final line of the novel, I'm dead, but I'm fine. Both the endings leave audiences open to interpreting what happens next. In a different sense, the presence of the fruit hints at a version of Lita's afterlife. She might have died in the accident or by the sea and her waking up is actually the beginning to her afterlife. This seems to be a possibility as the version of Lita seen at the end is very different from the one present throughout The Lost Daughter. She looks unburdened from her guilt and is finally reconnecting with her daughters. Since it's her afterlife, the act of peeling an orange made sense. The end of The Lost Daughter is meant to be unclear and is different from the ending in the book. The conclusion is open to interpretation and this is further emphasized by the last dialogue where Lita replies to Bianca that she is alive. No, but I 